Rick Meeks with Yardbird RC and welcome to my home office. Also welcome to the motor mount build and installation video. Now this is the first video that we're doing in a series of videos for YouTube. Most of those videos are going to feature uh, the Ultimate RC foam glue and how to use the Ultimate RC foam glue for different applications. We will be using this glue for the last step of today's video which will be installing the motor mount onto the foam airplane. Well, we've got everything that we need to get started. We've got our instructions, we've got our motor mount, we've got our X-Acto knife, we have a couple of different types of glue. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we are at step one of the motor mount build and installation process. The first step is to pop the wooden parts out of the wooden blank. Um, now, here's a tip. I like to take a very sharp X-Acto knife and cut those tabs before I pop them out. Just be very careful. Um, when you're doing that and when you're working with an X-Acto knife. But that allows those parts to pop out much easier. Okay, now it's time to put all these pieces together and make a motor mount. The first thing that we're going to do is locate the control horns, which are these large triangular pieces with two holes drilled in each one. Just move those out of the way. Okay, now we have all our components here for our motor mount. The first piece that we want to deal with is this cross piece. We're going to flip it over so that the rough outside is up. Okay, now you'll notice on this piece you've got four little slots cut in there. One, two, three, four. Those slots are going to accept these tabs on these larger YBRC pieces. So with the rough outside up and the YBRC, the clean side out, we're going to go ahead and just pop that piece into place. Now, normally we would add some CA glue there to hold this together but um, for demonstration purposes we're just going to go ahead and put the whole thing together without glue okay same thing on this piece tab to tab and it just slides right into place okay so there we have it we've got the two uh, YBRC pieces attached to the cross piece now on these small triangular pieces focus on the small tab not the large tab the small tab is what fits into these YBRC pieces so it's the same thing with the clean side out, the rough side in. We're just going to slide those pieces into place. And remember, um, if you're doing this for your airplane, make sure that you glue it together because it's if you put, put it on without glue, it's going to be a disaster. But uh, you might, you might want to go ahead and put it together just one time like this just to get the hang of it. But uh, make sure that you use glue when it comes time to actually, you know, installing it. Uh, permanently. Okay, so that's it. You can see it's pretty much self-jigging, so it just holds itself in place. So what I'm going to do now is take it apart, I'm going to put the glue in it, and then it'll be time to install in the airplane. Okay, now we're going to install the control horns. You'll notice that the carbon fiber strip is already installed into this Elevon. This is an F-22 Elevon. Uh, make sure that you follow the sequence of instructions. You want to make sure that the uh, carbon fiber is in before the control horn. If you put the control horn in before the carbon fiber, it's almost impossible to get the carbon fiber in there. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to smooth on a very thin layer of Ultimate RC foam glue onto these two tabs. You'll notice that the tabs are different sizes. The small tab goes forward. So we're just smoothing on a real thin layer. And now we're just going to slide the tabs into place. That's pretty much it. Okay, now we've applied a nice even thin layer to um, the foam everywhere it's going to come into contact with the motor mount. We have not applied any glue to the motor mount. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to slide the motor mount onto the foam. Now the longer you let this foam, the, the glue sit, the more tacky it's going to be, which is good for some things, but Whenever you're trying to slide something over something, if the glue's real sticky, it's going to make it harder. This glue hasn't set more than uh, three minutes, so it's, it's not um, super sticky yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this motor mount into place. And just be, you know, patient and real careful. And push it into place. Make sure that it's pushed in, in all the different little corners. And that's it. Your motor mount is installed.